Hello everyone, Hector Mendoza here. What this video is about is when we're out there in the field, you know, us independent adjusters, uh, even when I was in the graphic industry, I always had to create a bunch of folders for all my customers. And inside each one of those folders, I had folders inside folders. So what I did here is I created a macro that will create those folders for me so you'll see the whole complete uh, procedures on how to do this so if I go to my uh, desktop see here's a folder you see how there's no folders in there right all I have to do once you learn how to create this file all you have to do is click on macro find the macro that we're talking about and on uh, in this case is combine all macros I'm gonna hit run now when I go back to that folder if I hit uh, control R to refresh you see all those folders that it created so it created 200 folders for me you can create 10 50 whatever how, how many ever claims you have I can double click inside any one of these folders and it says you know front right left back so those are the folders that I decided to create you can have other folders you, you know you're gonna be able to name it the way you want because you're gonna see how this is done so once you learn how to do this it's real easy so let's let's go ahead and do this the first thing we wanted to do is to create a folder doesn't matter where you put it I'm gonna hit shift control in that creates my folder I'm gonna click on the folder and I'm gonna name it uh, 1121 20 and I'm just gonna put Denton claims okay that's the first thing we want to do the next thing I want you to do is create an Excel file so let's go to Excel, create new file. We're gonna uh, file, save as. We're gonna name it, yeah, whatever you want. I'm naming it the same thing that I created, that folder. I'm gonna go to browse. I'll put this on the desktop. Here's the folder here. Now you see right here where it says save as type you have to select Excel macro embedded workbook XLSM and hit save the next thing we want to do is create two columns on the first column I'm gonna call it claims or claim number 001 I'm gonna hit enter once I type the first C it copies what's on the first uh, call uh, you know above me I'm gonna hit backspace hit to enter I'm gonna click on line one of B column and I'm gonna put Hector Mendoza you can put your name if you want zero zero one enter if I type H it type it copies what's up there in the front uh, front you know with a line ahead of uh, on top of me I'm gonna hit backspace to enter now if I click here highlight everything I can expand everything while I okay what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight this too you see right here on the bottom right hand corner this turns into a plus sign I want you to left click go down and we're gonna go down to 200 we're going to release go to the top and then um, what I want you to do at this point is hit control S that way we don't lose anything at this point what I want to do is I want to duplicate this sheet you see right here if, if I hold my control key and I left click here you'll see a plus sign okay 
just move this over to the right and it creates sheet 2 so um, if I click here you can see all the text I can click here we, we have the same text now I need to combine those two together to do this we're gonna click the first line on column C hopefully you've already uh, installed your developer tab we're gonna go to record we're going to uh, call this combine Um, columns at this point I don't want to put no spaces in between there uh, we could theoretically we could we could put a, actually underscore in between there in between the words but we're not going to do that we're going to hit ok now I need a formula to combine those two together so if I click here either type or insert this formula you can copy and paste this from my text that I have underneath this video. I'm going to expand this column. I am going to click on claim number 001. You know, this this uh, column that's already uh, combined those two on the from the left. You see right here, I'm going to double click here and it duplicated that formula and copied it all the way till the end of the last line. While I have everything selected, I'm going to click here, I'm going to right click, it didn't do it, okay, so let me make sure you have this selected, I'm going to select the first one, go all the way to the end, I'm going to hold my shift key, I'm going to hit control C, I'm going to click here, I'm going to right click, so you know, well I didn't hit control C, well I think I did, but here, let, let's, uh, let's select everything again. Control C. I want to click here, hit right click. You see this uh, one, two, three here? These are your values. I want to click there and it copied everything minus the formulas. Now I'm going to click on C, hold my shift key, B, A. I want to right click and then I'm going to delete. Then at this point, I'm going to hit stop, and then I'm going to hit control S. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to create the subfolders. And we're going to do that, we're going to uh, create a macro. So we're going to record, and I'm going to put just uh, sub folders you can name it any, any way you want so I'm gonna left click and I'm gonna put front tab right tab back tab left you can name them any way you want I'm gonna click on this first one you see this little square box right here in the corner on the right corner I'm gonna hover my mouse right there I'm gonna double click and it's gonna copy it's gonna attach itself to the left side and it will end up on the left less line of what you see on the right or left okay so we're gonna do the same thing to the rest of them so I'm gonna click here double click click here double click click here double click and we're gonna start recording then we're going to hit save. 
now we're going to create a macro that will get this Excel file and convert it into folders for us. We're going to do it a little bit different. We're going to click on Visual Basic. We're going to go to Insert Module. I'm going to go uh, to a file that I have. And you'll see this text at the bottom of my video. I'm going to select, I'm going to hit Control C, click here, hit Control V. You'll do the same thing. The text start with sub create folder open parenthesis close parenthesis and it'll end up with n sub at this point you're gonna click here if you want you can hit control s you can click here now we want to make sure that it created that uh, macro so if I click here you see right here create folders that's the macro what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the desktop I'm gonna open up that folder you don't see any folders there right let's go to Excel if I go to macro click on that create folder hit run go to my desktop open up that folder in my computer I'm gonna have to hit control R to refresh some uh, I got three other laptops that I don't have to refresh on this one I do because I have a lot of programming going on with this computer so um, start from folder one you see how it says claim number one Hector Mendoza 001 go in the middle claim number 043 Hector Mendoza 044 all the way to 200 inside each folder you have a folder that's you know front right left back we could have put a, a, a 01 in front of each folder and it would uh, automatically put it in uh, alphabetical order but you know that that's all we're doing right now so we're gonna go back to Excel and I always hit control s every time I go back and forth right so now we've got to create a script that will combine all this uh, macros together so now I went into my folder let me make sure uh, control R I deleted all my folders there I went in and copied and paste this from the cell well the sheet 2 now we're gonna combine this together I'm gonna record uh, let me make sure that I don't have this uh, yeah Combine, create folders. Okay, so we're going to create a new macro by recording. I want to uh, type combine, oops, underscore all macros. I'm gonna hit okay so I'm gonna make sure that this is I want to make sure I have my <clears throat> thing right here so I'm gonna uh, go to macro first I want to combine the columns I'm gonna hit run now I'm gonna go I always like to click right here first go macro and then we are going to do the subfolders. I'm going to hit run. Now I'm going to go to macro and I'm going to click on create folders. I'm going to hit run. 
I'm gonna hit control. Oh no, first let's stop and let's hit control S. Let's go to the desktop. There's all my folders right there. Okay, 200 of them. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here, go all the way to the last one. I'm going to hit delete. Go to my Excel file. And now we are going to test it out. That, you know, the one that's all combined together. I'm going to go to sheet one. I'm going to hit control A. I'm going to right click. I'm going to delete. We're going to go to sheet two. Select the text. Hit control C. Go to sheet one. Click here. Hit control V. Now, remember, we don't have nothing on, on those folders. Oh, you know what? One thing I'm, I'm going to do here. Let's say that you only got, uh, let's move this up, and let's say you only got 100 claims. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and delete this. So you can see what happens if, you you know, you could, sometimes you're going to copy and paste uh, from other programs. Either it could be 20, it could be 100, it could be 150. So I want you to see what happens. Now, I'm going to go to Macro. Just double check everything. So let's hit uh, Windows D. Go to my folder. Hit Control R to make sure there's nothing in there. Go back to my Excel file. I'm going to go to Macro. And I am going to click, uh, no, the one that says Combine All Macros. And I'm going to hit Run. Now watch, if this comes up, just hit end, okay? It, it created all this subfolders, but it's not going to create anything. Because if I go to control D for, oh no, excuse me, Windows D for uh, desktop, double click here. I need to refresh my window by hitting Control R. There's all my folders. I'm going to double click in one of those folders. There we go. Front, right, left, back. Go to another folder. And remember, this time we only did 100 of them. So click here. Same thing. So that script or those uh, macros are working. All right, looks like everything's working. Hey guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe to me. That helps my uh, algorithms and you know how much they pay me in YouTube. But uh, I really appreciate all y'all's uh, support. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you on the next one.